Hey team, welcome to our standing cool down. So from here, I just want you to take the feet about hip width apart. Now we take a hand outside, take a big breath in, breathe it in. Reach hands all the way up to the top, good, and big breath out. Good, big breath in. Expand in the chest, good, and big breath out. Good, and really push your fingertips away from you here. Breathe it in, lengthen the way, breathe it in. And at the top, I'm gonna to hold it here. Perfect, now all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do slight sink into my hip, and reach one hand up to sky, good, and second hand, breathe out. Good, and reach, and then reach, good. And each time we're trying to lengthen, reach up, touch that sky, touch that ceiling, reach, good. And this is really good for your shoulders and your lats here. Good, take both hands center, take them out to the side. Good, one more time, big breath in. And outside, good, good, and big breath out here. Perfect, good, now from here, I want you to take your hands out in front of you. Now you can turn your hands inwards, so your thumbs are facing down. Perfect, take one hand over the top and then interlock your fingers, perfect. Now from there, I just want you to twist your arms through. All right, there we go, you might have to rewind that bit if you missed it the first time, good. Now elbows, I want you to push your elbows away from you, tuck your chin down and round the back here, excellent. So you're separating your shoulder blades, good, and then come to upright. Good, same thing again, push your elbows away from you, tuck your chin down, and then come upright, perfect. Let's reset that one more time, just in case you missed it. Hand out in front of you, turn them inwards, take one hand over the top and interlock your fingers, perfect. Twist your arms through, excellent. And now push your elbows away from you, round the back and tuck the chin. Good, and this one's really good for our upper back here. This will stop us getting any knots in our neck or shoulders. Good, and then release. Perfect, from here we're gonna move into our quads. So you can use a sofa or a chair to help you with this one. Now I'm just gonna, I'll just move side on. I'm gonna take my quad here. Now first thing first, is you want your knees in alignment with each other, just like that. Now once you're there, take this knee you're holding and take it behind your standing leg, perfect. Now when you're in that position, try and push your hips forward while pulling your leg back. That's creating that tension, there we go. Now lift your chin and chest up, there we go. You can feel that stretch, so you've got these different forces, pushing forward with the hips, pulling back with the leg, chin and chest lifted up. Good, hold. Now take a big breath in. Breathe out, squeeze that leg back. And then we can release, perfect. Good, and if you are using a chair or stool, do try to hover off it so you can start working the stabilizers a little bit more. If you need it to start with, absolutely use it as you build up your balance, but then you can start hovering off it and use it less and less, you can find yourself a lot more stable, building up those strong core muscles. Now from here, the leg you're holding takes it behind your standing leg, hips push forwards, chin and chest lifts up and that creates that lovely position there. Good, hold that there, feel that tension. Take a big breath in, big breath out, squeeze that leg back and then release, lovely. Good, from here we're gonna move into hamstrings. So. Take one foot out in front of you and flex the foot. Excellent, so we're gonna bend our standing leg and push your bum back here, that's it. So if I come from here, my bum goes back and I'm bending that standing leg. And you can rest your hands just on that bent leg there, good. Now this leg, you need to feel stretched down the back of this leg. Make sure you flex that toe. The more you flex that toe, the deeper that stretch will feel. Excellent. Now you wanna lead from your lower back, so none of this action going on here. Make sure your shoulders back, chin is up. You're leading from the low back. You're feeling that stretch and you're holding. You can take a big breath in. Breathe out, lean a little further. Three, two, one, and then release. Lovely, other side. So flex your foot, leg nice and straight. I'm gonna bend the opposite leg. Place my hands just gently on that leg, just lightly resting on it. Hips go back, back's nice and straight. Chin and chest is lifted up. Good, and I can already feel that stretch. Remember, pull that toe towards that shin. Good. Take a big breath in, breathe out, lean forward a little bit more, breathe out for three, breathe out for two, breathe out for one, and release, good. Okay, now from here we're gonna take our arm across here and pull this in nice and tight. That's it, this is a good stretch for your shoulders here. Good, stay facing me as you pull this in nice and tight, keep your arm straight, big breath in, big breath out, and as you breathe out, squeeze your arm in for three, two, one, and then release, perfect, other side. Yeah, a stretch is really important after workout. The worst thing you can do is kind of lie down or sit down, just sweating it out, wondering what just happened. When you stretch out, you're letting all the lactic acid drain. That stops that build up, that stops you getting those knots and the tightness in the muscle. 
that's it keeps the length in the muscles and release perfect good from here which you can do a stretch right ahead so all i want you to do is just gently lean your ear towards your shoulder here good and you can feel a nice gentle stretch no pressure just nice and relaxed good center same thing on the other side just lean your ear towards your shoulder and hold it there well done good back to center now i'm going to add a little another element to that so lean to the side now whichever side that you're leaning to the opposite hand so i want to flex that hand i want to push my shoulder down i'm going to place two fingers on my head and just create and you're going to feel this lovely stretch just down side of the neck it may be a rough stretch for some of you it might be a nice stretch and very gently i mean this is a millimeters of pressure here good hold and shift that stretch there and release good same thing outside flex the hand pull your shoulder down lean to the side two fingers on the side of the head and you're just gonna get a nice squeeze here good stretching the neck out here pulling the shoulder down good uh, release really center now just very nice and gentle half semicircle so go to the side look down to the side and back nice and gentle here good two more down to the side and one more down side good and center good let's do some shoulder circles go back here easing these shoulders off good got two more going back one and two and going forward one two three good four five and last stretch you want to do is take your hands you're going to face them downwards here face them on your low back palms in and you're gonna pull the elbows nice and tight together. Chin and chest lift up and good and squeeze. Now as you're in the stretch, breathe into your chest, breathe in for three, two, one, and breathe out, pull your elbows tight for three, two, one, and release, good. Last stretch here, feet apart, take a big breath in, breathe in, breathe out, good, two more, breathe in, and breathe out. And last one, big breath in, big breath out, and shake it off. Lovely guys, and give yourselves a massive round of applause. Guys, well done, I hope you enjoyed that cool down, and I'll see you at the next workout. Whoosh.